Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm out for a quick uh, overnighter. Um, the time's quarter to seven, and uh, I'm in the Heart Hope Valley in uh, Northumberland National Park. So I'm heading up for a, a wild camp. Um, not 100% sure where we're going to go yet, but uh, obviously we'll. Uh, you'll get to know as we uh, we go along the way. Um, it's a beautiful day, and. Uh, going to be a, hopefully a nice uh, nice sunset tonight uh, the, the sun's absolutely beautiful and uh, should be in for a warm night but uh, I think the early hours of the morning we're in for a bit of rain so come along with us and uh, as I say we'll, we've got a new tent to try out so it's the first time first time using it for an overnighter I did a pitch video um, earlier on in the week um, so I'm looking forward to uh, spending the night in it so Come along with us and uh, we'll catch you along the way. There's Langley Crags in the uh, in the distance and then looking around and we'll go around past this tree. We've got Honsley Crag up there and then panning round to the big one which is Hedgehog in the distance. So we're gonna uh, walk along uh, past Langley from farm and uh, take a walk up uh, into the direction up towards the uh, the Ultrip Cairn area. As I say, a beautiful day, the big reds up there. And a little bit of road walking and then we're onto a, onto a footpath. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, camp at a little waterfall, but uh, as I say, we won't know until I get there because there's only space for probably two tents so if there's people there already then we'll have to move on and go somewhere else I don't know whether you better make it out but there's a helicopter there that's uh, been doing some uh, crop spraying in the area so he's just not long landed I think uh, that's it for the day but uh, yeah, tiny little thing that interesting I'm ready for this one like I've uh, I've not been out for a few weeks so um, I'm looking forward to it you know I've not done anything for a couple of weeks to be fair other than work and uh, yeah I need to get get back out and get some more walking done but at least I'm out now <laughs> that's the main thing so so we'll just uh, walk along the road to Langleyford Farm and then uh, We'll push on up the valley. There's been uh, quite a lot of videos on YouTube in this area recently, uh, which is good to see, you know. Um, it's a canny area to explore, so. But I'm, uh, I'm looking at my next, uh, my next one going into the, uh, the Hethpool area and going up onto one of the hills there. But again, just keep watching the channel for that, and uh, yeah, it'll come up in the in the not too distant future. I've only ever seen two two people coming down. That's it. Just uh, obviously walking back off the hill as I'm setting off to walk up it. <laughs> so hopefully, it'll, I'll get to where I want to want to pitch. up there in the distance. Yeah, if the weather forecast wasn't so bad I, would, uh, I was going to do one up there, camp up there tonight but uh, don't fancy yeah uh, <laughs> don't fancy getting soaked to death and as I say with this new tent I don't want to uh, to risk 
risk it until I know I'm confident with it. But I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's got plenty of space. And as I say, for a sub one kilo tent, it's going to be uh, it's going to be ideal. There's the uh, head up up there. And looking back around to where we've come from. I don't think I'm going to get a sunset where I'm uh, going to pitch because the uh, the sun's up there behind the clouds. It's going to drop behind that hill before uh, before I get to my camp. I think I like this valley. It's nice to walk through. It's just when you get to the end of it, you've got that uh, climb up Cairn Hill onto the top, and then to uh, Arch up Cairn. Or Oak Up Cairn, however you pronounce it, I'm not 100% sure. And then you're only a, a stone's throw off the uh, summit to achieve you. But all the rain we've had the past two days, it'll be as boggy as anything up there, I dare say. You know, it is, uh, it is pretty much a bog fest area. And we're making good time. Spin your own, that's where we're going. This is a, a track until you get to Half Oak Lodge, which uh, I'll bring you guys back when we, uh, when we get there. Now. Well, as you can tell by the sound in the background, we found one of the waterfalls. So, spin you around. Beauty, it has an acting pool, and it's well deep. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Big sided ravine. I'm just going to find this. Uh, I'm just going to find this spot to uh, to pitch up, but uh, I remember seeing it and there wasn't the bracken here last time, so I've got to try and find it and then uh, so we can then get settled. I'll bring you guys back when I. Uh, when I find it. Leave you that beautiful noise. Hey guys, as you can see, the waterproofs are done. The uh, heavens have opened. It's just started to uh, slow down now. But um, I've found the pitch for the night. So I'll show you where we're going to go and then uh, we'll get down and get it pitched up. So that's where we've just come from. And we're going to go now. And we're just going to sit down and get down in there where the waterfall is. What a spectacular spot. So I'll bring you guys back when I get down there and then we'll, uh, we'll get set up in the pitch before this rain comes back again. Happy days. I'm chuffed. I was just about to think about bombing it out and, uh, and heading back, but no, I'm well happy. So, try and get this uh, lens pulled off of it. Oh, that's better. Oh. Right, muggy though, it's warm. Look at that, what a beautiful spot. I had a funny feeling there might be somebody here, but uh, no, this is great. So I'm going to get down and get pitch, pitched up. It's now uh, time early. Uh, it's uh, 8 o'clock now. It's a bit further along than I thought it was, but uh, yeah, what a spectacular spot. It's not the flattest of pitches, but it's going to do, I think. Look at that. Little, little things there. The joy we got, 
haven't brought any beers with us. Sleep with us all night, I'll be, uh, I'll be up and down like a yo-yo. Right, well, I'll get the kit in and we'll, uh, we'll get the tent up. Right guys, that's uh, the tent set up now, so I'll, uh, I'll show you around and uh, go through everything that's in there. Uh, so we've got a good pitch, reasonable pitch, it's undulating ground, there's, um, there's a space for probably three tents on here. But, uh, good little spot, a lovely little waterfall in the background there. So this is the first proper pitch of the uh, the Durston X mid one. Pretty happy with it. Yeah, really good. Just pan you around with the waterfall. Look at that. Beautiful. I might get a, I might get another dip in there in the morning. See how I feel. You know, I wake us up and then uh, I'll warm up on the walk back to down to the uh, to the van. So depending on what the weather's like, I might take a trip up to Cheviot, but uh, if it's lashing down or it's clagged, I'm not gonna bother. You know, I've been on it many a time when it's in the clag. You know, but uh, it's nice to uh, get it and get some views. Right, I'll go through what I've got in the, uh, in the tent. So, in the vestibule area, we've got my uh, camp kitchen as usual going on. Uh, again, MSR Poppy Rocket 2, MSR Titan Kettle, Cascade Wild Designs table, Seat the Summit X mug, a couple of coffees, hot chocolate for the night, and my food there. And then looking inside the tent, I've got me just my head torch and the uh, the Garmin in reach hanging from the top there. And these are marvellous, these tie backs, magnetic tie backs. So right, looking in, we've got the head end, uh, yellow bag is my uh, spare clothes, sleeping bag, X bed pillow, cloud base mat. My down jacket in my uh, in the blue bag, tent stuff sacks, and the drone and electrics down there. And then near the vestibule is my uh, rucksack, uh, rucksack cover. So yeah, so that's the setup. So I'm gonna get a get the stove on and get a, a brew on and um, and get some uh, something to eat. Uh, the time is uh, twenty past nine. Um, been a good bit of colour in the sky. It was sun sunset, but as I say, it was over over the top of there. And you can see, see a bit of cloud colour at the top. So, I'll take you over to the waterfall and then uh, and show you the waterfall. Beautiful little spot. Lovely cool, cool uh, <laughs> taking a dunk in there. Yeah, looks really good. The only issue with this is midges. So make sure if you come here and it's uh, in the summertime or in the midge season, bring a head net, bring some smidge. I mean, I've got some um, Expedition 100 on and it's working for me at the minute. But uh, 
that there's not too many of them about, you know. Yeah. Ah, it's so peaceful here. Anyway, I'll get me brew on. Garmin, the Garmin InReach Mini 2, um, which is great. Um, the other half, I think, just wanted a bit of peace of mind that when I'm out, um, if I have a problem, I've got the SOS part of it. Um, I can check in with her throughout the uh, my day, you know, and, uh, and obviously we can send messages on the night time. Uh, they're not cheap, but the it's a good good bit of kit for a piece of mind and they last for ages you know there are batteries in them um, if you're not tracking yourself um, all the time then the batteries will last for easily for five days uh, solid right that's what's boiling now Yeah, so I'm um, I'm going to be out doing the uh, in in August. I'm going to do the uh, Heriot Way. I've decided um, the missus is going to Jersey, as I think I mentioned in a previous video. Um, I wasn't sure what to do, but I'm going to do that. Um, 60 miles. I'm going to do it over four days, so 15 mile a day. Um, a wild camp it where I can campsite it if I need to. You know, um, and I'll bring you guys along. I'll do it in a, uh, a two or three part uh, uh, set of videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. Right, hopefully this will be ready now. We'll have a look. Gone carny for winners. I wish I'd got my beef jerky done in time for uh, trying it. Um, I got the idea off um, Jimmy from Lundy's uh, Wild Cab Stroke Bushcraft. Um, he made some uh, beef jerky and uh, it looked awesome. And uh, by all accounts, it didn't last five minutes, so it must have been good. So, um, I've got the stuff to do it, I just haven't, uh, haven't had time to put it in the, in the dehydrator, but I'm going to give it a go uh, when I get back. Uh, we don't want to see me scoffing this, so I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when I'm done. Right guys, we'll have to get in dark now. Um, time's uh, quarter to eleven, so I'm going to hit the hay. And uh, hopefully if, uh, if I get some night lapse photography, you'll see it. And uh, if you don't, you don't. So I'll say good night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night now. Hey right, guys, good morning. Time's up past six. I had a good night's sleep. Um, Believe it or not, with the noise of the waterfall, but yeah, had a good night's kip. Um, it's raining now, so I'm gonna get myself a brew on, and then, uh, then we'll get packed up and, and get away. But, uh, yeah, I'm well impressed with the tent. Um, rain most of the night, nice and dry inside. 
cosy and uh, plenty of room to move around in. Actually, I was surprised. I thought oh, it's a bit coffin shaped, but uh, no, it's really good. So, so far, I'm well impressed with it. I just have one of these fuel, fuel oaty bars for breakfast and, uh, and a coffee bag. Coffee. Got to start the day with a fresh coffee, as I always say. Right, we'll get this tent trip down now. Right guys, that's us packed away, and as always, we leave no trace. A bit of flat and grass where I was. Well guys, we're here at the Terrace Cafe in Wooler and I've got to say, it's a marvellous breakfast um, if you stop off here, as you can see in the picture. So, I'll leave the video here and thank you very, very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye now.